what's up guys, Benny here and welcome to my top 5 best assault rifle loadouts for Call of Duty Warzone Pacific. Now, there has already been a ton of changes to Vanguard weapons in Warzone, including, most importantly, the removal of Bloom, which meant that your bullets went off where you were actually aiming. It's a horrible mechanic, which didn't kind of fit within Call of Duty. That has been removed from the base weapon. Some attachments still add bloom, but we're going to be avoiding those and making sure that you have the best setups. Now, all of these loadouts I've tried and tested and found work really, really well. So if you are new around here, please take a second, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, the NZ41 did also receive a nerf. It had its recoil increased and it also had its neck multiplier decreased to 1.3 from 1.5. So it does slightly less damage for those like kind of neck shots. But overall, the time to kill potential on this is ridiculous and one of the best Vanguard assault rifles. And the recoil, there wasn't really any anyway. So like it's it's still after having it increased really, really easy because it's mainly vertical recoil. So you just pull back slightly on your right thumbstick um, and it deletes it. Now, the muzzle is the MX silencer. Sound suppression and accuracy uh, reduces your aim down sight speed. Now, the uh, NZ41 still has a really fast ADS with this build. So you don't have to worry about that the one thing i would say with the nz is if you hold down the trigger for too long you do start getting some horizontal wobble um so you kind of have to burst it at those long ranges this really excels in those mid-range fights where you can kind of snap onto your opponent take them down really quickly uh and it's it's just one of the best in the game and one of the reasons a lot of pro players have been leaning towards it now the barrels the orb weaver, orb weaver 360 millimeter then we've got the G16 2.5 times optic, which also received a slight change. It's a little bit more magnified in the middle, so it kind of fits that role of like the VLK um, uh, optic from Modern Warfare uh, and then the actual arms from Black Ops Cold War. So that now does a sort of the same thing. You don't necessarily need to go for a 3.5 times or a 2.5 times slate. Um, it's what other people have been doing for. So 2.5 times optic perfect stock lor reinforced for initial firing recoil just so you can snap on and get those shots off and get those fast time to kills brace that's going to help you uh once again with that initial firing makes it a laser early on so if you aim for those upper chests you can take someone out really really quickly fully loaded so you've got loads of ammo rubber grip for extra recoil control um just helps that horizontal wobble a little bit more then you use the 6.5 millimeter secure at 50 round mag this actually got increased from being a 45 round mag to a 50 round that's actually happened to a whole bunch of weapons with vanguard already um, and i'm expecting to see even more changes over the next couple of weeks uh lengthened is the ammo this is the best for warzone it's just going to increase that bullet velocity so you're going to hit those shots at those further distances without having to kind of guess right they're about 300 meters away so let me just kind of aim about 10 feet in front don't have to do that use lengthened um some of them, the others are okay, but lengthen is definitely the best one. And then the Carver foregrip, recoil control the most amount. So it kind of de deletes the uh, vertical and horizontal recoil. Slight ADS punishment, but that's not too big of a deal. And the hip fire accuracy just kind of doesn't make any sense. So you can, if you want to, go for the hand stop. But personally, Carver foregrip gives you the biggest difference between the recoil control. And that's the NZ setup. Now, I pair that with the PPSH. Yes, also got a slight nerf, but still, uh, in my opinion, alongside the MP40, the best Vanguard SMG. Mercury Silencer, ZAC 300mm, the ISO 3P um, Iron Sight, ZAC Folding Stock, Tight Grip, Quick, Stipple Grip Tape, the 71 round Gorenko Mag, it's the most important, Lengthened, and then the Carver Foregrip. Now, for the rest of that loadout, EOD, Overkill, Amped, frag grenade and a stim stims are really cool in uh cold air actually you can do it and you get a three second burst of speed which is huge um and i've used it to pull off flanks or kind of like kind of get away from enemies loads of different uses for it actually really really helpful uh, and frag grenades are now the best lethal because you can cook them lob them into a room and do 225 damage running with your smg or whatever um and just clear it up honestly insane they should probably go back to how they were to be perfectly honest with you but next we have the auto automaton right there has been so many kind of discussions about the name of this is it the automation is it the automaton it is the automaton um but people like to call it what it is this is probably the most popular assault rifle uh, in Warzone right now. The third loadout is probably, in my opinion, the best for mid to long range, but we'll get onto that in a second. But the Automaton uh, is high fire rate, absolute laser of an AR. MX Silencer, 
Um, personally, I go for that because I don't want to drop my damage range and the kind of the difference of the ADS penalty that you get is just negligible. Like it's it just doesn't it just doesn't make a difference. Um, but you don't want to hurt your damage range. Barrel the Anastasia sniper. Uh, then I've got the uh, the three point two five times custom optic on here. You can go for the G two point five two point five if you want. Zach skeletal stock tight grip fully loaded stippled grip tape the 75 round secure mag uh which is this one if you do want like you can go for that but th honestly the difference between the ads times that extra 30 bullets is massively worth it especially in quads lengthened and then i use hand stop now that's just to kind of give me recoil control increase accuracy which reduces the bloom effect not as big of a deal now that they've removed bloom but just punishes your hip fire so you're not hip firing with an assault rifle that often um so that works perfectly for me then i like to pair that with the top break pistols uh which is my ghost class um these things are slightly broken they're the snake shots that we had uh in in in, in verdansk um we'll probably get nerfed very soon same setup overall but i'm i am experimenting with some different perk setups because some of the weapons from vanguard have a particular um wraps that mean that you get the benefit of amped without needing take perk three so combat scout could go in instead so i'll talk about that in a later video now we have what is the best mid to long range assault rifle in warzone right now after the bloom change i used this on day one i was like they've ruined the bar they have ruined it what have they done and now uh, after the bloom change you don't get that random deviation of bullets so it's actually going where you're aiming because before with slow fire rate if you're missing shots the time to kill on this thing isn't going to be that great uh, and bloom made you miss a lot of shots but now one of the best mid to long range weapons you've got the mx science on there you've got the 30 inch barrel that gives you the fastest um gives you flinch resistance which helps reduce scope sway and gun bob and recoil control and accuracy it makes it an absolute laser and the damage range on this thing is already insane so you don't need that flinch resistance is actually quite crucial to winning a lot of gunfights in this game then i've got the g16 2.5 times optic the pistol grip customs to increase the ads speed and also take a little bit horizontal the bar doesn't have that but pairing it with this barrel um it really helps kind of just keep it dead center helps you uh, have no bloom whatsoever and you can be a little bit more snappy hard scope's the best perk so you get better accuracy and recoil in sustained ads pretty much what you're always doing with an assault rifle fully loaded fabric grip just for faster ads sprint to fire and hip fire accuracy mainly the reason i've got that is for the fast ads because it has kind of if you don't have it got kind of like it's quite slow and kind of clunky um the 50 round 40 round bmg mag the 50 bmg 40 round mag um like i said this got increased from 30 to 40 makes it even more viable for warzone they're making a bunch of changes to mags but this is uh you know a saving grace and is really leveling the bar up um then i use lengthened and then the m1941 hand stop for recoil control and accuracy just for the punishment of hip fire this this is honestly insane give it a go let me know what you think about it down in the comments um and i pair that with the mb40 which alongside the ppsh is probably the best uh smg in the game right now and this is what fifa kill uses as well um but the m1929 silencer i think he uses the recoil booster but i prefer to stay off radar um the crawl's 317 millimeter barrel the slate reflector you can also if you want a faster ads and you're happy with the iron sight you can go for the crawl's uh iso one for a slightly faster ads speed um but because the mp40 is actually good at a little further distance as well um you can just run the slate reflector and make it a little bit more accurate then you want the 33 millimeter folding for faster sprint to fire and movement speed brace uh which as we all know is going to give you initial fire recoil um control quick fabric grip then the eight millimeter curves 40 round mag the lengthened ammo and then the carver foregrip as well so incredible smg works with all the setups like i said most of these um setups you can kind of interchange depending on what smg you prefer whether it's your ghost class um it's all up to you now our fourth loadout we've got the stg this is what most people have uh leveled up already it's a really strong performer i don't think it's as good um as a couple of the other assault rifles but most people have access to this because it's one of the first assault rifles everyone unlocks um and it is still a very very good weapon it's gonna be like the m4a1 for more Modern warfare everyone's got it it's an all-round performer it's good at close range it's good at mid-range it's also good at long uh so you know it's just a good all-round assault rifle but mx silencer vdd 760 millimeter 05b barrel g16 optic 
the VDD 34 sec uh, S weighted, uh, then you want vital. This means that when you're hitting the chest, you're actually doing 53 damage. It gives you a five shot kill to the chest, uh, which is more than the head headshots, which I don't understand why it's working like that, uh, but it is. Uh, so if you're using the uh, STG, don't aim for the head. The, the head? Don't aim for the head, aim for the chest. You get a faster time to kill. Fully loaded, so you get all the ammo. Stipple grip tape, just to give you that initial firing recoil. You want the Russian short 45 round mag. Then you also want lengthened. And then the Carver four grip, just to kind of give you as much of a laser as possible. Now, I pair that with the PPSH once again. So we've already gone through that. Same build, same setup. Um, but, you know, PPSH is my favorite. And now our fifth and final best assault rifle loadout setup is of course the EM2 and the OTS. Both these guns receive nerfs and yet they are still ridiculous in Battle Royale. Now you can't use them in Vanguard Royale, but if you're going into Battle Royale, the EM2 is still there. Agency suppressor, 25.8 task force barrel, field agent grip, 40 round mag, then the OTS as well, uh, which is the groove suppressor, 8.1 inch task force barrel, the VDV 40 round fast mag, serpent wrap, and the KGB skeletal stock. Honestly, um, can see them getting nerfed a little bit more, but the EM2, I was hopping on plunder with it, and I was just shredding. Like, I was, I was expecting more of a nerf. The recoil control is not that big of a deal, um, and it's, it's still probably better than all the Vanguard weapons at the moment. That probably will change, because they want Vanguard weapons to be the kind of primary focus, because it's this year's game. Uh, but we'll see what Raven do. Let me know what loadout you're going to be trying out, but those are my top five assault rifle loadouts for Call of Duty Warzone Pacific right now.